Hey everyone, this is a video I'm doing on behalf of a YouTube user named Hiram Cook who has been absent from YouTube for several months but he's back now and he wants to do a giveaway to thank his viewers who have stuck with his channel in his absence and he's asked me to do an unboxing of a sample of the prize package that you can win um, from his contest so see the link to uh, his video, I'll put it in the description that will cover all the rules and what you need to do to enter his contest. This is just going to be to raise awareness that he's returning back to YouTube and to raise awareness of his contest. We're going to do an unboxing to show you what you can potentially win. Um, anybody not aware of Hiram's uh, channel, I'll put a link in the description to his channel too. He does awesome videos on DIY gear. Um, a lot of boil tests, performance tests of alcohol stoves that are very well controlled. It's a, his channel is a great resource, um, so if you're not aware of it, go check it out. But what we're going to do now, I'll bring the camera in for a better look and we'll get to the unboxing. Right. We've moved indoors because, of course, my neighbors decided to go all American Idol on me while I was trying to film the video outside. So we'll do the unboxing inside. So this is Hiram's box of trade goods for his giveaway. Alright, we'll go through the items and I'll spread them out here as we go. Number one, you've got roughly a square foot of carbon felt. Very handy for building alcohol stoves, for baking, for uh, insulation as a pot grabber, just handy, flame proof, carbon felt. Got a note here, I'll uh, read through this and uh, I'll do that off camera and I'll come back and film it just to make sure there's nothing in there that he doesn't want in the video. All right, I'm back, check through. It's uh, just a message about the unboxing uh, that he wanted me to do and also some inter information on the contest as well as a list of everything included <clears throat> So I'll read this out dear Colorado camper I've sent you something I want to give out in a drawing to my loyal YouTube viewers for sticking with my channel during my absence I call it a box of trade goods or BTG When I buy things at places like eBay I like to get multiple item lots that way I can put together these BTGs to give out to my family and friends I'm sending one to you and Wall Hiker because I enjoy your videos and I hope you'll do an unboxing video so I can link to it to show what will be included in the box of trade goods I'll be giving away. The drawing for the BTG is going to be a little different. To enter the drawing, I'm asking that people send me a postcard at the following address. And then he lists his address. Again, I'm just going to say go see his video for all the details you need to uh, know for entering the contest. My thinking is that Anyone and everyone could just send a message, I'm in, but if somebody is really interested in getting the box of trade goods, they should be able to send out a postcard to be entered in the drawing. Just a simple postcard with at least their YouTube call sign printed on it. I think even an index card can be sent through the mail as long as you include the needed postage. If they want, people, if they want, people can send postcards from their favorite vacation spot too. That would be way cool. And then uh, it says, thank you. Please do the unboxing video. And I've got the list here, so. All right, we'll continue on with the unboxing. Thank you, Hiram. So we've got the square foot of carbon felt. Just keep going here. This is a, looks like a little flashlight, LED flashlight. All right, next up is a can grenade which is a little cozy for keeping a beer can or beer bottle uh, insulated, but it also has a clip on the back so you can clip it to your pack or to your belt. So that's handy. It's again, a can grenade is what that's called. These are some little uh, containers, little screw top lid, has a seal inside so you can store you know, matches, pills, cooking oil, things of that nature. So two containers. All right, this is the eight in one survival card, which let's see, let's check it out. Looks like just a kind of credit card sized multi-tool.
So here's that eight and one survival card. I'm gonna do, I'll set this to the side and I'll come in for a closer look at this to show you guys that the camera angle is not really set up ideally for that. So we'll do that in a little bit. Got two Mylar space blankets. Everybody kind of knows these, just survival blankets. Uh, really handy, good emergency item to keep in your kit or in your car. Here's a little package of a few assorted items. Got, looks like two aluminum whistles with a little keychain ring, ring on it. A little aluminum keychain bottle opener. A little miniature button cup compass. and two military P-38 can openers. Continuing on, we've got a, these little nine volt battery snap LED flashlights, he calls it. It's just, a, it's got an opening down here that you just attach a nine volt battery to and then a little LED light with a switch on it. Um, I'll again come back, I'll see if I have a 9 volt battery so I can hook that up and show you guys that later. And a second one in assorted colors, so two of those LED 9 volt battery flashlights. He's got two cyclone tubes, which um, you, sh you should check out his channel. He's done some really cool videos with these where he uses them as an adapter uh, with his Sawyer squeeze water filter um, and a way to make it. you can use these to hook it up as a gravity filter or to make the whole thing in line to connect to uh, Two of your Bottles or bags or whatever together. So again two cyclone tubes um, Really handy for using with the Sawyer squeeze water filters It's got a ferrocium rod and striker, just a fire starter of really quite a quite large size. So you got the metal striker blade there and the ferro rod. Start some fires, handy. This here is an IKEA cutlery caddy. And once again, Hiram's done a really cool video showing how this makes a really handy wood stove, like a hobo stove. It's got enough air holes drilled in it through the bottom and through the sides and these little feet to stand off that it works really well for just, you know, feeding wood in and making a, a little container for a wood burning stove. And it's fairly lightweight, stainless steel, I believe. So an Ikea cutlery caddy to be used as a wood stove. Here, okay, this is the card sharp folding safety knife. Just like with the survival card, I'm gonna come in and film this up a little closer because I need a closer camera angle, but this is a really cool little item. So we'll be back for that as well. This is the, must be the police 3W flashlight. Little, uh, Aluminum lightweight flashlight with a uh, little key ring and a kind of quick disconnect included with it. So we can, I'll get that rigged up and get a battery inside it if I can. But if not, a little miniature flashlight, very handy. A zebra stainless steel water bowl. The, uh, let's see, a 16 centimeter zebra stainless steel water bowl. Really handy. Uh, you can definitely use this for cooking or as a bowl to eat out of a camp. Water bowl for your pet. You know, tons of uses for that. Really nice high quality stainless steel. And it looks like the last item in here is a collapsible foldable uh, water bottle. We have 17 and a half fluid ounces, a little carabiner connection so you can clip it to your pack or whatnot. And then uh, kind of the platypus style where it folds flat. 
This is what I was talking about where you can hook up one of these cyclone tubes and screw it in here and then attach your Sawyer water filter uh, to do uh, like a gravity style feed. Again, Hiram's done a great video to show that, so I'll let him be the authority on that. That's everything included in his box of trade goods. I'm gonna readjust the camera angle and we'll do these side items that I pulled to the side real quick. All right, here's a closer look at some of those items. Uh, here's that, the Police 3W flashlight. I got a AA battery in it to show how it's working, so just push button on the end. Same with the uh, those nine volt LED flashlights. There's a little switch up there, you just stick a nine volt battery in. You got a little handy compact flashlight. Again, you get two of those. Um, I kind of fumbled on this earlier, but I figured out this uh, LED flashlight. What it is, it's got a little release switch up here and it pulls out this trigger. And so it's got like a Faraday system inside, so it doesn't use batteries, so you can charge it up and then you have your flashlight there. So that's what that flashlight was. I kind of stumbled on it earlier. And then this switch here stows that little cold trigger. The card sharp folding knife. Hiram's done a, a video on this, you can check out too. But so it's got a little locking mechanism up here. Let me see if I can get the camera to refocus. And uh, so you spin that until all the green paint disappears. And so the whole thing is credit card sized, so you can stick it in your wallet really easily. Once you've unlocked it there, the blade folds out and then you fold the handle over and kind of clasp it together. And you've got a little light duty knife there. You've got some jimping up here to give you some grip. Uh, I believe it's a 420 surgical stainless steel blade. So a handy little uh, little backup knife there. Uh, lightweight, you know, super handy. Uh, I believe, according to Hiram's rules, you will need to be 18 years old to uh, receive this item. And then the whole thing, again, just folds back apart and you can lock it up and now the blade can't pop out. So that is the card sharp knife. Also comes with the instructions, some information on it there. And last up was that eight in one survival card. I've kind of studied up on that to see what all you get. So you've got this card with a little keychain adapter and um, it's got a metric ruler and a imperial ruler. It goes up to two inches and five centimeters on each side. Pull the card apart. And now you've got various tools. You have a knife edge up here. This part is sharpened, so you've got a little utility knife that you can use there. Right here you've got a can opener. Uh, this edge here is like a flathead screwdriver point. You've got a bottle cap opener right here for popping open beer bottles and whatnot. Here's a multi-sized wrench. So a little hex wrench. It doesn't say the sizes on there, but you know, you've got a looks like four different sizes you can use. This slot here, uh, this card here is showing it as this um, they call it a butterfly screw wrench. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but anyway, that's what this slot here is for butterfly screw wrench. And then uh, I think I've covered everything else except this little black part that pulls out. It's just a little uh, stainless steel pin. They say in here um, to, that you can use it like as a fork, like they have it there stabbing an apple. But um, yeah, you could do, I mean, you can certainly use it for that. You could use it for lots of things too. Um, punch, punch a hole, like an awl. It's pretty, pretty hefty steel. So, you know, little kind of pin fork thing. And then, because you got the knife blade, the whole thing goes in this little card case to keep it all safe and locked together. So that's the 8-in-1 survival card. Alright, so I'll uh, put everything here together and we'll do one final pan over all of the included goods. Alright, here's a close-up view of all the stuff all laid out together. So you get your carbon felt, about a square foot, your two Mylar space blankets, foldable water bottle, 
two uh, pill or match or oil, just you know, two little containers, bottle opener, a little button compass, two P38 military can openers, two aluminum whistles, a large ferrocium rod fire striker, two cyclone tubes, there's a ze zebra stainless steel water bowl, the can grenade, which I pulled a beer out of the fridge and showed how that works in there. So you zip that around and you've got the clip there to clip on your pack or your belt. The Ikea cutlery cavity, which also doubles as a wood burning hobo stove. All the various flashlights. You've got the two nine volt battery LED lights here. The police 3W flashlight it runs on one AA battery with the little keychain lanyard and that Faraday flashlight that you charge up by hand. The eight and one survival card here. And last but not least, the um, card sharp folding utility knife. So there is the box of trade goods from Hiram Cook's giveaway. Thank you very much Hiram for sending this to me and welcome back to YouTube. Look forward to more of your videos. If anybody has any questions, uh, let me know. But otherwise, go see Hiram's video, which is linked in the description, to figure out what you need to do to take a chance at winning this box of trade goods. Lots of little useful goodies there. Thanks, everyone.